What's up everyone, it's Big Buku here, and it's kind of a Sunday night slash Monday morning. I don't really consider it the next day until I wake up on that said day, but anyways. I got a game of Domination for you on Kowloon, and I usually, I don't know, it seems like I post this as much as fire, much as I usually post fire range. And look at this. This is why I never go into this room on this map. <laughs> but right there, that's my only death all game, so. I just played this, and... I was really stoked on it. I didn't expect to do as well as I did. I ended up going 33 and 1, which is pretty sick. And uh, I looked at the stats afterwards. My, I it was my highest KD at 33, obviously, and uh, my b biggest kill streak, which was oh, excuse me, I just burped. I had some pizza, but um, 28. Which is sick. That's awesome. And the thing is, the kill streaks don't count towards that. So that's 28 gun kills, which is that's that's beast. That's pretty kick ass, man. And these guys weren't that good. I gotta tell you right now. I mean, if I'm able to do that, kind of walk around you guys. But two kids had the same clan tag, so they were probably friends. And then three kids had the same clan tag, and they were all in a party chat. I don't know if they were just, I don't know. But I thought, I was like, oh, it's going to be a tough match. But no, it really wasn't. <laughs> and I just got back from my weekend in Cambridge, which is pretty fun. I'll do a commentary or about that probably tomorrow. Probably need something to do. But I'm going to actually talk about the gameplay in this and what spurred me to do what I do and stuff. So class setup right now is Commando with Suppressor. And Hardline Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, Marathon Pro. And the reason I'm using this is because I subscribed to Sandy Ravage, and he posted a Black Ops video the other night, which is it was so good. It and it, he was using the I think he was using the setup at least. I know he's using Hardline Marathon. I'm not sure. Probably I think he was using Sleight of Hand, and he just went to town on these guys, and he kind of did a little commentary, it was kind of basically like two minutes of the video, and then he's like, alright, just watch the rest. <laughs> and he just, he said it, this thing right here, and I was like, you know what? Like, I want to try this. He said, Black Ops is just as easy as the other Call of Duties. And I thought about it, I was like, you know what? That's kind of true. I mean, I know it's different and stuff, and a different play style, but you... Like, he's just such a confident player. Look, I almost get the triple, but the guy gets up and leaves. I'm like, oh. He's just such a confident player, and he's such a badass, and he puts that awesome music to it. And he j he went ended up going 99-3 and three on Domination for Jungle with, with a Commando and Suppressor. And I hate using Suppressors, but I just put it on anyway. I'm like, this is my Sandy Ravage setup now. And it just got me thinking, I was, you know, maybe I can try to do something like he does. Obviously not go 99 and 3, because I, cause I suck. I, like, <laughs> that's ridiculous. But the thing is, he went 99 and 3, I went 33 and 1. That's the same kill-death ratio, so... I don't know, maybe a sign that I might be the next Sandy Ravage? No, definitely not. I'll never be the next Sandy Ravage. The guy is such a beast, and no one can touch him. No one can touch his playstyle. He just... Every every the, every video he posts is just oh my gosh! I saw one the other day, the best start of a game ever. ever. He ended up, I think it was a Modern Warfare 2 video on Trailer Park, and he got the Predator missile, Harrier, AC-130. He didn't even use the uh, Predator missile or Ace or Harriers. He just went to the AC-130. Ended up going 24 and one, and then the host quit the game. <laughs> I'm like, that's so good. The guy is just so good. He really just gets me so stoked to play. He doesn't even have to do commentaries. Which, that's definitely, that's the key right there. So, yeah. That's why I'm using that. My kill streak setups are, I kind of, honestly, to be, I wanted to die more so I could get the kill streaks again. There was one game today where I got two Rolling Thunders in a game, which was kind of cool. I almost had the third one, but I screwed up. But, I'm running the Mortar team, the Attack Helicopter, and the Rolling Thunder. I don't know. Like I said in one of my other videos, I like to have a lot of fun with the kill streaks now. And those kill streaks just seem easy to get. I mean, with Hardline, it's five, six, seven. I just, I, I can't really fathom the Blackbird and Chopper Gunner and Dogs. That's just, 
they're not really that much higher kill streaks. And once you get the blackbird, you're basically good to go, unless you're an idiot like me, which happened to me the other day. I was going for it, and I was like, ah, stupid. But I don't know, just those. I just didn't like them. I was like, no, like I'll just run these ones. I'll run weird ones that people never use. People hardly ever run the mortar team and the rolling thunder because, frankly, they suck. And I decided to run the attack helicopter because I couldn't really find another underused kill streak. I mean, I guess the Sam turret and Valkyrie rockets, but I don't like waiting around for that package to drop. I'm, I'm not that patient, so I'm like, well, I'll run the attack helicopter. And just this game, oh, this I'm reloading, and I'm like, oh, Coco. Luckily, this kid sucks, but that was luck. And I, I should have died a couple times during this, but no. And I switch off, I run out of am ammo on my commando, so I get the AK-47, and I pick up the FAMAS too. I don't think I use the FAMAS, I think it's straight AK-47. That gun's pretty beast, I forgot how good it was too. I've been using like the M16 and these weird ass submachine guns, I forget how good the normal weapons are. Which is good, it makes my playing a lot better. And another thing I did this video is I dropped my sensitivity, I watched a video by X-Jaws. And he talks about sensitivity, and he's like, yeah, like the top players usually play 2-4. to four. So he's like, try dropping it down and do an experiment and see how well you do it. I'm like, alright. I usually play at 7 or 8, which, that's idiot. That's stupid. Why would I do that? And he explained in the video, yeah, if I'm able to do things faster, then I have the advantage. No, that's, a and he's like, no, that's not how it works, and I agree with him. The thing is, you can move faster, but to be able to pinpoint on an enemy, like, I feel I do a good job in this video of really locking onto the enemy. I mean, if you watch Sandy Ravage's videos, he is... Once he sees the enemy, the reticle is on him like before they can fire. It's just absurd how good that guy is. I'm going to put a, a link to his video in the description where he does the 99 and 3. It's, it's, it's so fun to watch that stuff. It's, I mean, sometimes it kind of gets old, but I mean, 99 and 3, I wanted to see him break 100. <sighs> but yeah, I'm running those kill streaks just because I don't really care about kill streaks. I just want to have, I want to just get good gun skill to be honest, I mean, Black Ops is, I just feel you need more gun skill in this kind, in this game, um, yeah, I guess that's kind of it, I mean, I'm just really stoked on this gameplay, I just got it five minutes ago, I went downstairs, I uh, went in theater mode, capped it up, I ate my pizza, I just finished, it's delicious, I'm very tired, Sunday night, I'm looking forward to this week though, it should be fun, don't have much... I have no school tomorrow, and I'm just, I don't have work, I work tomorrow night and then none until Saturday, which kind of sucks because I need money, but, eh. <laughs> Look at this, funny care package, I was like, Durr! and uh, right here I should have died, guy had me, I don't know how that happened, but, but yeah, I don't know, just, I do, I don't do, uh, like, Sandy Ravage rushing, but I do run around the map a little bit more than usual, which is good, I think it's kind of fun, it's more fun to play like that, to be honest. And I end up going 30, 33 and 1 with 4 captures and 7 defends. And that's. I score almost a, uh, a full 1,000 points than the second highest guy in the game. He was on my team, too. And it's just crazy. Look at this guy. Using ghosts, I don't care. Whenever you shoot your gun, I can see your dots, son. And this guy, I'm just like, eh, I think I knifed this guy earlier. <laughs> but great game really stoked on it it's really fun to get good gameplays so yeah hope that you enjoyed that yeah, have a good night everyone